Hey folks, I'm away today in Victoria, but I thought I would just throw up a screencast and uh, show you the next steps that we were going to talk about in Photoshop. So we've looked at a few things, we've kind of looked at adjustments, we've looked at some of the filters in Nick, but I also wanted you to play today in some of the filter galleries and look at some of the little stuff that you can do um, <coughs> outside of Nick and just in your, I want to look at all the filters today. So if you go through here, this, these all make sort of dramatic changes. Uh, if you click it, you've got to filter gallery. First of all, you've got some artistic choices, so you can turn things into sort of more artsy, a little more artistic, a little less natural. Um, but if you want to get sort of a more dramatic graphic look, this is definitely where you should go. Um, this is an image, sorry, that Cody took. So this is of Chantel in my class, and this is uh, Cody who took the image. So I didn't take this image, but I'm totally pirating it uh, to do the screencast today. Uh, cut out. I'm just going to go through these all really, really quick. They have sort of like a painted sort of look to them. Uh, fresco is a kind of paint, so quite wild. Definitely not um, not supernatural, a little more into the surreal, but that's okay too. Plastic wrap looks like exactly what it is. And you'll find that some of these work better for some images, some images and some for others. So those are sort of all your artistic effects that kind of make it look a little bit like a painting. Brush strokes make it look a little bit more some some effects like paintings and some just like you've done sort of sketches so this looks like a little more of a sketch i'm just going to go through all of these really quick again quite paintingish like but there is some some variation uh distort a diffuse glow gives you that sort of soft and in all of these i'm not really showing you but in all of these you can sort of adjust it as well so like i could choose to make it super glowed or maybe just a touch of glow um, so for each of these, there will definitely be some some options within it. Uh, glass, same thing here. You can choose like the level of distortion. So like, don't just randomly click. But you can randomly click, but know that you've got some additional controls on the edge. However, you actually want it to be in terms of canvases. So you've got quite a few options there. Ocean ripple. Those are in distort. Uh, sketch is exactly what it sounds like. It turns into sort of a sketch program gonna put it down. Most of these end up looking um, not in the ne necessarily in the right color that it was before. Crayon, graphic pen, photocopy. This is turning red because I must have clicked red somewhere so normally it would be black and white. Uh, but sort of a more again kind of graphic kind of feel to it. Stylize, glowing edges again quite into the surreal. And the last one is texture, uh, sort of crackling, green, mosaic, patchwork, uh, stained glass, and texturizer. So I would play with all of them, but then sort of adjust it within. So if I, no matter where I start, each of them sort of has like their own unique kind of way to change it up and to change the entire look of it. So I didn't actually make any changes there, but again, just so you know where that is, that's filter filter gallery. Another one that people really, really like, which gets it totally out of the ordinary. This is actually how they would, um, sorry Chantel, I'm going to pick you on, pick on you a bit here, but I'm not here so I can play with it. This is kind of the tool people use when they're doing major Photoshop changes, um, making people thinner, making people heavier, taking away chins. Um, so you can change your brush pressure. If I really cranked it, and if I made it go up, oh my computer is going to be super weird. I'm just wondering if it's not going to let me. It's not going to let me. So I take that back. Let's not do liquify today. I'll show you on my other computer next time. I'm sorry. Um, oil paint turns it into, I don't know if any of you guys have seen sort of the Tangled Effects apps. It kind of does a sort of similar thing to Tangled Effects and you can change how dramatic it is on each of them or how smooth you want it to be. But you kind of a cool image. So I'd like you to play around there too. Back to filter. Uh, vanishing point. This one I haven't used that much. It looks a little bit different on this one, so we're gonna we're gonna ignore that. But play with it, play through. Uh, blur gives you a whole bunch of blur options, depending on how you want it to look. Remember, if you don't like it, undo or step backwards, or you can up here cancel it. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of the blurs because there's there's tons of them. Motion blur kind of makes it look like you're running. So if you kind of see, they can blur it a little bit. I see a lot of people using this when they're doing like sports. 
um, other blurs, tilt shift average. There's really tons of them, so you might want to play around with that a little bit. Distort is where you start getting like the really weird stuff. So for example, pinch, if I wanted to increase the level of pinch, then look what happens. Turns kind of wild. If I don't like it, step backwards. Back to distort. Uh, polar coordinates does, I can't even really explain what this does other than it sort of, it kind of puts your, puts your image into sort of four sections and then it either like, it's kind of like the circular app if you guys have ever played with the circular app. Uh, definitely not super natural looking, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, ripple. You can see kind of what that does right there. You can choose it to be rippled. It kind of waves it. I'm going to undo that though. Uh, steer eyes. This is where you can be really cruel to someone and give them like an extended belly or you can pinch it in. So let's extend it. Kind of interesting. But you want to kind of just play with every picture you have and see what works for it. Uh, wave. You can kind of see what it does there. I'm not going to put it on the big screen because really I just like you to play through the filter gallery because there's a ton here. Um, anything else in distort that we want? You can kind of have a have an idea and snoop through there on your own time. Noise is going to give you, it's going to add some sort of speckles or dust or scratches. So it kind of just gives it kind of an older feeling. Um, you might if you're doing kind of a retro grungy kind of thing. If you go too far, you get absolutely nothing. So play around in there. Uh, distort, nope, we did that. Noise, you can also reduce the noise if you have a really noisy image. Like if you took something with a really high ISO, it'll get rid of some of those dust and speckles. Uh, pixelate is kind of makes it look totally unnatural. Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of does its own little bokeh thing, but nothing super natural. Um, there's a whole bunch of them here from there. I'm not going to make it big screen, but I'm going to kind of just show you what some of them look like. Uh, solar eyes. Kind of like that. Uh, wind gives you kind of like, I kind of like wind sometimes too. A little bit interesting. Just looks like you either got like an ink stain or if they're, like I said, like it's wind. So that's a pretty decent one in there. Render, we're going to leave render for now just because I think we could do an entire lesson on sort of lighting effects and lens flares. Sharpen is going to sharpen it a little bit and give you a much better of a crisper image. Uh, stylize, these are kind of interesting ones too where they give you sort of like way out there artistic filters. Um, kind of like, there's a bunch there. You might want to just play around with them. Um, video, we're not going to do because we're not doing video. So I think that gives you a good starting point today. You're going to go f play with all of the ones in the filter gallery because there's tons. Find something you like. And then you can go through pretty much all of these, but not all of them. I think you could go through, um, maybe leave these ones for now and we'll look at them a little bit different. I'm sorry, I have a bad computer today and I'm traveling, so I don't actually have the good computer that'll allow me to use brush tools. But play in filter gallery and then play all the way through here and see what sort of interesting effects you can get with your line posts. Uh, so I hope that gives you a place to start and uh, thanks, we'll see you guys soon.